Hello and welcome to my world of crochet. My name is Dina and today I'm here with you for another yarn haul video. In fact, I was so lucky that a Pletter Yarns sent me a discount code for getting 10% off. Um, so I really couldn't help myself and I ended up purchasing some yarns. So I have this box here of Pletter Yarns. Um, they are from the company yeah, Pletter or Stenlays. Basically, it's a Stenly brand of yarn and they do sell a lot of their yarns on their web shop, which is pletter.vg. I've linked to it in the description box uh, down below, of course. Um, and because I got this lovely 10% discount code, I couldn't help myself but making a new order with them even though that I do have quite some yarns I still need to use up. But yeah, it's a good offer. Why not? And actually they had a few yarns. Um, one of them is one I really want to make a review on out in the future. So I got some of those. Um, but before we dive into the yarns, as you know, we cannot really start talking yarn content uh, and yarn ready things without me here sitting with my faithful mug of tea, which today is uh, the German blend that I bought last autumn. Um, so yes, it's slowly getting a bit of an age, but you can't still taste that in the tea yet. So that's absolutely wonderful. So it's a black blended tea that contains a flavor of a pineapple and lemon. So it's a fruity, fresh black tea. And I think, you know, it's a good tea for basically all year round. Um, so I think it's a really, really nice blend. But um, we are here to look at the yarns. And actually, this box is pretty well taped up compared to what they normally do. Um, I don't know if that box was broken before they shipped it or what happened to it. It's not of importance. As long as the yarn is safe. So I did take the liberty to... Um, remove some of the um, plastic they had around it from the very start, um, just to remove a bit of the crinkling sounds that you will experience. Though I do know I have bought some of the Stendi cakes in this haul and they are all wrapped up in plastic. So we will have more crinkling sounds. I do apologize for that. But what I'm gonna do now is because I know you really enjoy that part a lot is I am going to take you on a sneak preview in the box before I do the whole unboxing. Look at this gorgeous, gorgeous box of yarns. And I just counted that I should have 35 balls and cakes of yarn here. But there's more down here. And here, lots of gorgeous yarn to show you guys. So yes, I counted 35 bowls, skeins, cakes of yarn in this order. And um, as you noticed maybe by the quick view is that um, the top layer contained a lot of a yarn, art uh, yarn art skeins. Um, so uh, let's start with those because again, they are top on the top. So it seems to be much easier to work with these, um, at least when, when unpacking, right? Um, and um, I got mainly, a lot of them is just like one of each, um, but I do have some where I have several. Um, for these um, yarn art jeans, uh, which is basically the yarn art jeans, is a very very gorgeous yarn here we have uh, the yarn art jeans there is the right way of showing the text yarn art jeans absolutely gorgeous gorgeous blue here um at least if i may say so it's a gorgeous blue i wonder if they do have colonies i don't believe they do um but i am just gonna check if they might have um yeah light turquoise but we could see that itself i would rather call it light blue though um so 
These Shanat jeans I have several of and I got them with the main purpose because I heard that they were really great for making amigurumis. Um, I haven't made a lot of amigurumis but it does, I do feel it inspiring what you can create of fluffy toys um, basically with yarn. And I have made some in the past and I want to once in a while just make some again and I do have some ideas for inspirations for what I want to make and I found some patterns and those patterns also suggest that Jana Deans could be a really really good suggestion so while many make these um, groomers these days from chenille yarns um, which I have also I haven't tried that yet last time grooming I made I made from cotton yarn um, the chenille yarns are great for a little bit of a fluffy feel soft feel um, baby like feel but this yarn art jeans is a quite soft yarn so let's talk about it for those that's not familiar with the yarn art jeans the yarn art jeans here is a 45% acrylic and 55% cotton it's a 50 gram ball donut um, and for those 50 grams so that's about 1.75 1.76 ounces you get 160 meters of yarn that equals 174 yards so it is considered a fine weight sporting weight yarn and here we have it this is the color weight 76 and i found they name it uh, light turquoise um i would personally maybe more call it light blue but that's me um they say if you want to make shirts or sweaters or tops of it you need about um 400 grams so that's eight skeins for these for making a full-sized uh, t-shirt or sh a sweater i guess that's maybe medium size that's usually what they tend to advise on they say you need to use uh three and a half millimeter knitting needles or three and a half millimeter crochet hooks i've done a sweater in this in the past like a, a baby or well, baby not a toddler cardigan um uh it's the lemon peel pack cardigan that i made last autumn and i made used about three three and a half skeins of these um for making that one it can be washed at 30 degrees celsius and it says that's 86 fahrenheit i usually say 85 but yeah 85 86 it's lay flat to dry it can be dry cleaned and it can be ironed but do not tumble dry and do not bleach of this light turquoise, I have um, three skeins. Um, I did find some patterns, of course, that inspired me. Um, and, and therefore, I got three skeins of that. And I simply have several of these um, yarn art jean cakes, oh, cakes, <laughs> balls. And therefore, I am um, not going to read up the specs for each of these balls. I'm just going to find them and show you the colors I have. Um, next to this light turquoise, I picked up this one. And this is a colorway 17. So let's see, what are they calling 17? Uh, colorway 17. It's not even here on the list anymore. So I guess it's sold out. Let me see. 17 is sold out. It's called Cobalt. Cobalt is like this lovely blue, basically. Um, and it's the same specs as the light turquoise. And I will be combining them for a project. I have um, three of the Cobalt yarns here in the jeans. And I'm just going to put some of these back here in the bag, simply because... I need them to store them eventually anyways and they are in a nice clean bag so that would make good sense to do that the last yarns that i do believe is also oh i do have a few others but i have many of the yarns i ordered i only ordered one of each but um, some of these yarn art jeans i did order multiple this is another one i have multiple of so i have three of this one and just to find the last one i have three of those and this yarn art jeans is the colorway three and the colorway three is the one they call ecru ecru is i would say this white to cream white um white so it's not really a bright white but it is white but it's it's like yeah um 
equi. Um, I would probably relate a little bit to cream, like if you have some fresh diary and that's kind of like cream cream fat. Um, but um, yeah, it's a lovely equi and I am going to combine if I'm not wrong. Um, I have like a teddy bear in mind and they need some like um, paws and faces and so on. And that's where the equi will come into play. But another yarn that will come into play for the teddy bear that I had a idea of making is this sort of sandy, um, sandy, beachy colored. It's a color weight 48. And 48, let me see if I can find it on the list. 48 is named beige. I'm not sure if I would call it beige, but it's more like a light brown sand, maybe beige. Yeah, it's that's what it is. But um, so that was the first pack of jeans I have here. But I do have more light uh, Yana jeans. I'm just putting the bag a bit further away on my table so I have room. I also have a this bag of um, Yana. Um, just trying to find a place where we packed it in. And there was, of course, also another cake in there that wasn't a yarn art, but let's take them still as they come. I have a, this gorgeous fella, which is the colorway 63, and that's the one they call Petrol. And I do absolutely agree with this colorway and the name, it's Petrol. And it is a very quite soft yarn. It, it does feel really, really nice. Um, and given that I do have experience working with it, um, I know it will be a pleasure to crochet with. Um, and I intend to make a review um, of this yarn and give you my honest opinion. And I will show you how it crochets up and I will show you how it washes up and basically come with a good review of it. Um, but yeah, so that's a petrol. Then I have a single color here of a white. I do believe that's also white. It's a colorway one. And yeah, they name it white. So just to compare, it's a shame that I almost wrapped it all up, but I do have one of them in the outer pair ends. So you can compare the equi to the white. You can see there is a slight colorway difference. This is definitely more white, but it is like, a creamy natural white, the equi. Um, they might even have a colorway called natural white, I'm unsure. No, they don't, but they do have a bleached white, but that was white. Then I have also this one, which is a gorgeous light pink. It's the colorway, where do they have it hidden all the way in here? 74, and the colorway 74 is the one they call baby pink. I would agree, it's a baby pink. It's a lovely baby pink. And that I will be combining with this one. So they are going to a project together. And this is the colorway 20. And the colorway 20 is the one called pink. So pink and a baby pink. And then I have just two left. And of course I did add some extra here and there to make up so I could get my free shipping um, from Plata Yarns to where I live. I get free shipping if I order for, I do believe it's 107, uh, 155 euros, which is a quite substantial order. And that's also why every time I unbox from Plata, I have this huge box with stuff. But um, this one is the colorway 73. And it's like, um, I would call it skin color almost, maybe light orange. It's 73, they call it here cream. Um, yeah, it could be cream. It's definitely like a light, light orange, like very, very um, pastel orange like feeling. And then I have this one as the very last, which I will be, I do believe combining with this one. And this one is the colorway 23, and 23 is the colorway they call orange. Um, I'm not sure, I wouldn't call this a full orange. It's more like a peachy color. Um, but yes, um, so that was all the Yana jeans that I got in this order. 
and I can tell you that I will definitely be reviewing them and letting you know um, how this yarn works off. Like one thing is that I have an experience, but I know that it is really, really nice to get a full review of yarns, especially if you haven't used before. I don't know. Are you familiar with the yarn art jeans? Have you used them before? Um, what's your opinion if you have? Uh, and if you haven't, uh, what would you like to know in the review, except for how they crochet up and how they wash and stuff like that? So then I have another yarn from Yarn Art, which is a new yarn that I have never had in the hands before. I ordered this yarn in particular because um, I wanted to feel it. Basically, I wanted to feel it and the skein was big enough to, let's say, make a hat. And that's why I ordered it, because then the yarn will be good to put to good use, while I can also get a feeling of the yarn in my hands. Um, they also had a, an offer or a sale on it at the same time, which was a little bit more than the 10% discount. And therefore, that was another good reason to pick up this one. So it is the Yarn Art Requital. Yarn Art Requital. And it is a squishy yarn. Um, the skein feels a lot bigger than I had expected. Lovely colors here. Absolutely gorgeous colors. Um, let's talk about this yarn. As many yarn art yarns, um, or basically as all yarn art yarns, this yarn is made in Turkey. It's the colorway 664, and I do not believe that has a specific name as such, but we can check just to be sure. Um, looks like it actually probably, no, I don't have a color name, I don't have a color name for this one. That's all right. Let's talk about this yarn. Um, this yarn is a 150 gram ball. And of course, now that makes sense that it feels so big. I don't know why I thought it was just 100. Um, and for those 150 grams, which 150 grams is about three and a half ounces. Um, then you get 330 meters of yarn, which equals about 360 yards. Um, this makes this a medium weight yarn. So let me see if I can. And I can also see that it is a roving style of yarn. Now, when I'm getting closer, see, you can see there is thickness difference in these, how they are applied. There are thickness difference. So it's a roving style of yarn. And it's a medium four and they do say apparently that i can crochet a shawl or a scarf of 90 centimeters length with just a skein so two skeins i could have crocheted a scarf hmm, i don't know um it takes about three skeins for a medium sized um sweater um, i assume that would be knitting they recommend uh, five millimeter knitting needles or five millimeter crochet hooks it um, can be washed at 30 degrees, so that's 85, 86 Fahrenheit. Do not iron, do not bleach, do not tumble dry, lay flat to dry. It can handle dry cleaning. Um, let's talk about the yarn spec, so the yarn contents of this uh, yarn. This Requital is a 9% alpaca, and it is soft, so yeah, I believe. Then it's 10% wool. 9% viscose and 72% acrylic. So it's a good mixture of a bit of everything. Um, it feels pretty nice and it does have, it's a bit difficult to see, but it has a slight bit of halo. I absolutely adore this color and I can see that right now on the website, they are sold out. I don't know if they will get them back or what will happen, but um, I'm happy I got one to feel it and to smell it, it smells a little bit um, warehouse. Uh, not bad, but it smells a bit warehouse. I would have expected a little bit more of a wool smell, but yeah. So that was uh, my my other uh, yarn or uh, piece. So I'm just putting it back here in my storage of things again, because I will have to store it all afterwards, keep a bit track of it. Um, so let's dive into all the cakes that I bought.
and I basically don't know where to start because there's a lot of lovely cakes. Um, I did get some of the cakes as a reorder of some other cakes I had, which I have decided to share with you guys in giveaways in the past. Um, but therefore, I think we should still have a look at them. Um, because I, and, and why do I reorder it? Yeah, because I have the idea I really want to use it eventually. But that doesn't mean that I can't sometimes share some of these with you guys. Um, the first one I got here is this uh, Stanley Vegan Cake in these uh, lovely, I would say, German or Belgian colors. Um, we are having a black outer edge, then it's a Bordeaux red to a mustard yellow. They do all have center pull. The vegan cakes here are 250 grams each. And for those 250 grams, I do get 80% cotton and 20% polyester. And 250 grams also gives me 1,200 meters of yarn. So 250 grams is, poo, what would that be in, in ounces? I'm actually quite unsure. Seven, eight, eight something, probably. Um, and that's about 1,300, a bit more than 1,300, 1,320, 40 meters, uh, yards of yarn. So this is a thin yarn. It is spun. Or plied together. Um, they recommend uh, two and a half to three and a half millimeter knitting needles, a one and a half to a two millimeter crochet hook. I do believe you could easily size up the crochet hook a little bit. It, it, it again, it, it does depend on what you are making from it. Um, the larger the hook, the more lacy it will be, or the more airy. Um, they can be washed at 30 degrees uh, Celsius, that's about 85, 86 Fahrenheit. Um, can be ironed, lay flat to dry, it can even be dry cleaned. But do not bleach and do not tumble dry this. Um, that's the colorway 2001. And it's the second dye lot of them. Um, I think it's a gorgeous one, um, lovely colors. And then we have another vegan cake, so I'm just going to take it out and show it to you. But I am not going to go into depth of the specs, because that's the exact same specs as the cake we had just before. This lovely rainbow-like feather, and it's purple, green, yellow, pink. Vegan cake, and it's the colorway... 2037 and it's the dialot one so it's still off the first batch they made from them ever center pull again here down bottom um they tend to make them a little bit cone shaped to have the center pull at the bottom i don't know if it's just the machinery they have um i have a one more vegan cake and then i'm not sure if i have more vegan cakes except for that um but i'm just trying to um um, show you all the same type of text to prevent talking about the specs too much. Oh, this one is stuck with a center pull inside the bag and now I broke it. Oh no. That's a shame. That's a shame. Okay. Um, it was stuck in the bag. I do apologize for how it looks here. This is the center pull cord, so I will show you the color from the other end. It's much prettier. Again, vegan cake, and we have this, um, what would I call it, stark sage green to a more olive green to a corn yellow to a lighter yellow to a white. I think it's gorgeous natural colors for this one. I have absolutely some lovely scarf in mind. Um, I think the, this color can make a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous shawl. Um, that is the colorway 2047. Gorgeous, very gorgeous. I think that was probably my last vegans. So. Let's talk about, I have some yarn here, which is a not a uh, cake. And I am just going to see if I can actually open this bag. It's the Yarn Art 
flowers uni color and the yarn at flowers is such a lovely lovely soft yarn to work with they have the cakes um i am 99.9 percent .9 sure it's the same as the hobby twisters though um so this is the one color weight skeins and they have these small skeins for adding extra length to the yarn this is the colorway 744 and it's at good good medium gray and i have the idea that it matches um, one of those i have upstairs um, in this lovely gray color um and they are a fine yarn um they say you need 250 grams to make a shawl um or 500 grams to make a sweater can be washed at 40 degrees which is 104 fahrenheit it can be dry cleaned they can be ironed lay flat to dry uh do not bleach and uh, do not tumble dry um but yeah it can be washed in your washing machine um these yana flowers unicolor is 55 percent cotton and 45 percent acrylic 50 grams so again 1.75 ounces Gives you 200 meters of yarn so that's about 218 yards um gorgeous and yeah so i got three of them um and uh, three and the idea is thus to um create um or use them for um extending um a cake a flower cake i have um, the challenge is, uh, opposed to Hoppy, Jana doesn't tell us which colors of the unicolors are in their specific cakes. Um, Jana, if you're watching this video, uh, please add some guidelines to what cakes are matchable with what Jana unicolors. That would be so very much valued. Um, you could easily put some guideline on this on your website it would be very very useful for a lot of us who use your products so that was feedback um then i have ayana cake and that's ayana flowers merino cake i have in here um i am again just gonna unwrap this at least if i succeed doing so let's always send us all these um wrapped up nicely ta-ta this is a fluffy one soft does not have the same storage smell um or warehouse smell um the yana flowers merino here is considered a lightweight yarn or three weight yarn so a dk weight ta-ta you have here something for you to compare with of course, it's made in Turkey. It's a colorway 531 and it's a pink, not pink, huh? purple, darker purple to lighter purples. And you have a white here in the center. Um, it says here it recommends um, five and a half millimeter knitting needles or five millimeter crochet hooks. Can be washed at 30 degrees, so 85 Fahrenheit. Can be ironed, lay flat to dry, do not bleach, do not tumble dry um, can be taken to the dry cleaner should you need it this contains is 25% wool and 75% acrylic it's cake is 225 grams so that's a little bit more than three and a half ounces for those I get 590 meters of yarn which gives you about 645 yards um, Again, I haven't really decided what the project will be for, um, but I thought it was a gorgeous cake. So I basically got it either to show you guys or to feed it or whatever. I have some other merinos um, of this in different colors laying around that I was thinking of making a punch off. And should I have wanted to make a punch of this, I should definitely have gotten two. But I could still maybe make a small shawl, I think. I haven't tried how far I get with these. They are shorter than the flowers, but they are thicker, so they might still work out nicely for sure. Um, we will have to check that out. So that was all the yarn arts that I got. Then I have um, 
Let me see here. Yeah, I have two cakes of the uh, candy opal from Stanley. The first I have is this gorgeous fella. It is, um, I would say, a very dark magenta to a magenta that goes into this brighter and brighter peachy alike colors. So they are magenta pink to peach. Gorgeous. Stanley's a candy opal. It's a pretty heavy cake for its size. Um, because this cake is at 300 grams and for those 300 grams I get 900 meters of lovely yarn. You can also see they have made shawls or cardigans here on the back from this. It's classified at two weight yarn. Um, it's 85% soft cotton and 15% lurex and lurex is what makes these lovely speckles go through. Um, the sort of rainbow like thread in there. They recommend three to four millimeter knitting needles or two to a zero to two millimeter crochet hook. I do believe that's a very small crochet hook for this. I would probably size up a bit. Um, I think you could easily use somewhere between two and three millimeter crochet hook. Um, classified as fine weight yarn, can be washed at 30 degrees Celsius, can be ironed, lay flat to dry, don't tumble dry, don't bleach, can be dry cleaned should you desire so. Um, it's classified as a two weight yarn, a fine yarn. Um, this is how it looks thickness wise, so I wouldn't call it lace weight either, um, but I would call it a thin too. Um, yeah, that was basically it for this one. It's the colorway um, 7605 and it's the first dye lot. Um, I think it's a gorgeous cake. It's absolutely a gorgeous cake. And I got one more, so it's the same yarn specs, but it is a different color. And I still want to show it to you. Then you can always compare it to see how you think they look in real life and how you think they look on the website. Not all time pictures are correct. This is a purple one with a dark purple center going out to a lighter purple, going out to a pink nude to a white. I think it's gorgeous with how this goes with the lurex that's in it and how it shines. This shines in a much different way than, than this, one, this one does, I would say. Even though when you look up at close, you can see it is the same color that goes through. The shine does seem different, don't you agree? So that was the Stanley Candy Opal. Then I have, what do I have? Let's see. I'm just trying to kind of keep it the same. I have... A cotton cake. This cotton cake is a sort of rainbow colored cotton cake. Um, it is the standard cotton cake. You will have noticed that I have already worked projects in it if you follow my yarn talk videos, just not this colorway. We are on a purple here and then it's like um, a minty green, bluish minty green to a yellow to a very full yellow in here. It's the colorway, um, not the colorway, but it's the color of uh, 452. Um, the cotton cake, cotton cake, uh, is recommended three to four millimeter knitting needles, two to two and a half millimeter crochet hook, can be ironed, wash at 30 degrees, so eight to five ish Fahrenheit. Um, don't dry it in the dryer, don't bleach it, it can be dry, cl dry cleaned and lay flat to dry um this cake here is 250 grams so they are compared to many others quite heavy um for for its condensity um but it's also a finer yarn it's definitely a finer yarn than compared to for example if you know um hobbies uh cotton kings sultans uh, then this is a finer yarn to work with but they work up just as gorgeous uh 250 grams gives you a thousand meters of yarn. So again, a thousand meters is a little bit less than 1100 yards and it's a hundred percent natural soft cotton. So that was this lovely, lovely cotton cake with a little bit of a rainbow hint. Then we have, um, I'm just gonna check if they are all the same. I think they are. Yes, then I have a bunch of baby muffins 
baby muffins are um, an acrylic cake from Stanley. Um, and baby muffins, they are, all these Stanley cakes, are, they are with Santa Claus, just to make sure that you're actually aware of that. Um, we have this one, baby muffin. And these would be the colors, a bit pastel -y colors here. We have a purple, blue, and... I would say there's a green, but there I can't see it. It's a purple, blue, yellow. It's a three-stranded yarn. So these are three loose strands that you will have to hold together to ply your yarn with. Um, and they do have like lovely bead in the end. Um, this is the first yarn of today that has the loose strands to work with. They are easy to work with, so don't shy you off for, for it being a stranded yarn. Um, and if you find troubles on to keep track of them, I recommend adding a bead on it and then keep that to help you keep the yarns collected. But generally, when you start working it up, I don't feel it's that challenging to work with at all. But that's, of course, a personal um, idea and opinion. It's a colorway 733. Um, they recommend a 2 to 4 millimeter crochet hook or 3.5 to 4.5 millimeter knitting needles. Wash at 30 degrees Celsius, so 84 at 85 um, hair of Fahrenheit. Can't be ironed. Again, don't uh, put in the dryer. Don't dry. Uh, don't uh, bleach. Lay flat to dry. It can be dry tinted should you need it. This is a 250 gram cake, and for those 250 grams, you get a whooping 1160 yards of yarns, uh, 60 meters of yarn. So 1160 meters of yarn. So that's about 1300 yards in this cake so that can make a quite nicely sized shawl and i have more of these uh, baby muffins and therefore i am not gonna go over the specs of them i'm just gonna show you them so i'll take them nicely out of the bags and i will show you them each and individually and talk about the colors this is a gray going to a lighter gray and into a white um i love this for a neutral something um and and honestly these these cakes from Stanley, also these baby muffins, they do feel soft. So it's a pretty soft acrylic. And they're all 100 percent acrylic, of course. Um and yeah, it's a colorway 741. Should you be interested in that one? Then I have um some cakes that I might already have in my storage. Um but you can always use extras. The next here is again a baby muffin. It's pink to orange to yellow. Center pulls. Same, same types and specs as the rest, so we are not going to go through that. It's a colorway 719, so 719 would be this gorgeous one. Another baby muffin. We have two more baby muffins to go through today. And then I have another um, three cakes um, of two different types. So we are getting closer to the end here. We have this gorgeous, and I think this is very gorgeous, blue, magenta, red, orange, yellow, cornflower yellow. I think this is gorgeous. Very, very gorgeous. Don't you? Gorgeous. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Wonderful. Then I have the last one of the baby muffins and in this yarn haul order. Um, and it's a color that's very valid for the time period that we are entering right now because here in the month of August, um, we have um, um, a parade, a gay parade in Amsterdam. Um, so um, Pride, Pride Week in Amsterdam. And therefore, I think these lovely colors kind of match that. We have a black, red, yellow, green and blue. So it's almost like a rainbow. I think this one is a gorgeous cake as well and will make absolutely something gorgeous like a gorgeous shawl or whatever um so yeah i thought that was really kind of fitting and then i have a muffin mini lux and i do have some muffin magic drop cakes so let's take one at a time and that will be the last three 
this time around. And, um, whoops! <laughs> um, and the, we'll start with the Muffin Mini Locks, which is this fella. It's a silvery one. And look at it at the end. Like, here it doesn't look that impressive, but when you flip it like this and you can see how it's been put together. Wow! Purple, that goes to a lighter purple with a silvery spectacle going with them. It's also a stranded yarn. Oh, I dropped my bead. It's a stranded yarn where there are four strands and the strands would be uh, three strands with the acrylic and then the metallic strand that goes through. Muffin Mini Locks here. It's a colorway uh, 1651. Um, it's 90% acrylic and 10% Lurex. Again, Lurex is this silvery that goes through. This one is 250 grams, that gives you a thousand meters of a yarn. They recommend three and a half to five millimeter knitting needles. And they say three to four and a half millimeter crochet hook. Can be washed at 30 degrees, so 85 ish Fahrenheit. It can be ironed, it can be dry cleaned, lay flat to dry, so do not tumble dry and do not bleach. Um, and it's a colorway 1651. And I need to make sure I don't lose this um, because the little bead that was attached to the end here kind of dropped off. So I will just make sure that I get that attached when I clean up my mess here on the table. Then I have uh, two magic drops left um, and they are a different type. And when you just look at them on the outside here, they look like the same. They look like the same, but they aren't. They are two different cakes but I will still show you these uh, gorgeous cakes so that you can see them the muffin magic drops isn't that gorgeous so the magic drops have these kind of bumps with a bit more speckles in them um and yeah, that's kind of what makes them a little bit different than the rest, right? Like they have these kind of drops, speckles, that's thicker, but the whole thread still goes through. Um, we do have the center pull here. And as you can see here, it is a, let me see if I can actually see clearly. It's a four stranded yarn. You have three strands of acrylic, and then you have the one strand of um, the speckles, or yeah, what do you call it? The shiny stuff with the bumps on it. So let's talk about the Muffin Magic Drops. This is a very long colorway. I'm gonna check if it's the same number I have here on my order. It is. So, okay, it's a colorway 19555161. Ooh. Um... They recommend four and a half to five and a half millimeter knitting needles or three to five millimeter crochet hook. Can be washed at 30 degrees. So again, this is 84 ish, 85 ish Fahrenheit. Um, it can be ironed. Uh, dry clean is also possible. Lay flat to dry. Do not put in the tumble dryer and do not bleach. This is containing 80% acrylic and 20% Alurex. A cake like this, so the Muffin Mini Drops, uh, ooh, the Muffin Magic Drops is a 330 grams, so it's a bit heavier, and it gives you 1100 meters of lovely, lovely colored yarn. So just to compare um, with the Muffin Lux Mini, Mini Lux, um, this is heavier, has a little bit more yardage, but more importantly, here you have more lyrics than you have here, which is also explaining the bumpies that goes through all the yarn. So that was this one. And then I have one more, which you noticed in blue. Actually, I forgot to show you that it's light blue. Then it's like a petrol one to a navy dark blue in the center. Then I have one more, which looks like the same, but it can tell you it's not. 
This one is also the Muffin Magic Drops. I love flavor blue, but it goes lighter to white. So as you can see, like this, they look similar, but like this, you can see they are very different in their colorways. And I absolutely adore both of these. Um, awesome, wonderful colors. Absolutely gorgeous. Which of those do you like the most? The light one or the dark one? Comment the box down below. Um, that was it for this yarn haul. My box here next to me is absolutely empty. I hope you enjoyed my yarn haul from a Pleta Yarns or Stanley Yarns, which is from Pleta in Bulgaria. Um, I will now um, clean up the mess I left here on the table and uh, store it all in my yarn stash, which is so ever growing. I basically need to figure out how to stash it all. But that's my headache and not yours. I really hope you enjoyed the haul. Uh, stay uh, take care, stay safe, and I'll see you on the channel very soon for either Yan Talk, Yan Haul tutorials, uh, giveaways, and reviews, and much more. So stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for the watch. Bye.